Hello. It is frosty biscuits. Um, today I've just got to fit these door handles and locks on the doors. I probably won't film it though because it's freezing and it's pretty boring, but I should catch you in a minute. All right. Oh, one handle and lock in. So one lock and handle in. Started doing the other one. I snapped the two spindle screws that hold it in place. So that's fantastic. Um, so I'll have to wait until I um, can get two more, which is great news. All right. Nice and snowy. I'm going to try out these uh, little toe warmer things. They're only a quid from the shop, so I thought I'd give them a shot. I'll have a quick look at them, see if they work. There is, look. Ooh. Let's check this out. So what do you do? Place the adhesive side on the toe of the toe warmer on the outside of your sock at the top or bottom of the toe area. After placing an enclosed area, warmers can take up to 20 minutes to reach maximum heat. Ooh. Shame it comes in a plastic package though. Know? Right. You can just bang them in, dear. Place them in. How does that work? How does that work? I guess it's the contact that heats it. Well, who knows what's going to say. Right. I'll let you know in 20 minutes if it works. Woo I'll tell you, those boot warmers have done absolutely nothing. Rubbish. Didn't even feel a slight bit of warmth. Maybe they were not working and that's why they were only a quid typical well as you can see it's a uh, non-stop snow now so my plans to get the tiny house clad it's probably not going to happen because i don't know if a truck will even come down here now even if i could afford it so brilliant news Better get some snow paths made before it freezes to the ground and becomes impossible to move out here. But I won't bore you with the sound of it. I'll speed it all up. Boop! Need to do some uh, clothes washing so i need to get a fire on 
the screen's gonna constantly be getting wet from the snowflakes unfortunately but see how we get on she's up and running which is good because it is absolutely freezing out here Get this washing done, eh? Yes. Uh, washing done. Just get myself warmed up by this fire. It was epic. It took like three hours. Need to get one of those off-grid washing machines, I think. Because it is pretty ridiculous. Anyway, I'm going to get warmed up by this fire. Unfreeze my beard. Oh, my beard's not unfreezing. Camera's freezing. Yeah, I'm just, uh, this is how I get rid of the cat waste. Um, she uses paper pellets, so I just burn them in this. As I don't want to compost her waste with my waste. Just thought you should know that, you know. Lovely. Hopefully my gloves will dry. Because they're pretty frozen at the minute. Nice and quiet though. It's the best thing about winter out here. It goes silent. Which is very enjoyable. Wow. Job's done inside. I'll put uh, more plastic over all the windows, try and insulate it a bit in there because it's actually warmer out here, which is ridiculous. Uh, hence why I've come back out here near this fire because it is a Baltic in there. I think in the uh, one room that we use, um, if we put the gas heater on, it gets to about 12 Celsius if we have to pump the heat out all day long. And then other patches of the room are still zero. All that plastic that I just put up is all just froze through the window straight away. So, rough. But as rough as things can be, still living out here is better than living in the city. The city is super stressful. At least here, you get the peace and quiet to think. I think in the city, you don't really get that. Which doesn't help people's mental health, does it? So, don't be put off by the cold and the misery. <laughs> it's not all bad. Never is. We're only here for a short time anyway, so... Enjoy what you can. For me. It's this. Oh, it's naughty. One of the questions I get asked a lot is, um, how do you deal with the isolation of being so far from other people? And the truth is that I don't really think about it. Um, but if asked, I'd say that it doesn't, I don't, it doesn't really bother me. Um, I think maybe, maybe as you get older, you don't really need other people around all the time. Uh, you learn to sort of enjoy your own company. I don't know if that's the same for everybody, but me personally it is. Um, and for me, I think it's, I think it's about two years since I saw any of my friends. So, I don't know when the next time will be, especially with um, COVID. I can't see it being anytime soon. So, 
you, you learn to get on with it and it doesn't really pose much of a problem personally it might for others I'm not sure it depends if you like the city life or the country life but for me it's um, I really like the outdoors and the peace and silence of the wilderness so my mother taught me that friends and people come and go and you need to um, just do what you need to do what makes you happy don't be concerned about what other people think or say you've always got to do what's best for you because you only live once I see I think my beard and my nose hairs have uh, unfrozen a little bit though from this fire uh, but before the real darkness comes and it is coming soon I shall bid you a fond farewell um, I need to go to my post box which is a couple of miles away so if you're really keen you can join me in the car for that if not like and subscribe um, and I shall see you in the next one if I'm still alive. I'm sure I will be. Take it easy. Bye.